In this video, we're going to look at how to draw histograms. So here we've got an example. So we've got group data, the frequency, and the question is asking to draw a histogram for the information in the table. So the first thing we need to do when we draw a histogram is to calculate the class width and the frequency density. So I'm gonna draw in two other columns, CW for class width and FD for frequency density. Now frequency density is a formula that you need to remember. So the frequency density, which I've abbreviated to FD, is always the frequency divided by the class width. So the frequency divided by the class width. Now the class width is easy, you just do 50 minus 40, which is 10, 55 minus 50, which is five, and then we're going to do 65 minus 55, which is 10, 80 minus 65, which is 15, and then 100 minus 80, which is 20. And then on our calculator, we're going to do the frequency divided by the class width. So the first one's easy, 16 divided by 10 is 1.6. Then we're going to do 18 divided by five. So 18 divided by five, like so. So write it as a decimal, 3.6. Then we're going to do 32 divided by 10 is 3.2. 30 divided by 15 is two. And then we're going to do 24 divided by 20. So 24 over 20, we're gonna write it as a decimal, so which is 1.2. So now we've got our frequency densities. So here's the key thing, in a question like this, we need to figure out the scale for the frequency density. So on the y-axis, I'm gonna write frequency density. So we've got it already labeled. Now, if we look at the values for the frequency density, the lowest value we've got is 1.2 and the highest value we've got is 3.6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat 10 squares as one. So we get one, two, three, and then we've got four. So that means that we can easily figure out the scale because each little square is 0 0.1. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw in the histogram so histograms do not have gaps in them so from 40 to 50 i'm going to draw in the frequency density of 1.6 so so the first frequency density i'm going to draw is from 40 to 50 of 1.6 so i'm going to draw 1.6 like so down to 50 and just shade this in. That's our first bar. And then the next one is from 50 to 55 and that is going to be 3.6. So we can say that's 3.6. So we're gonna draw a line all the way going up to 55 there. Go across like so down and we're going to shade in our bar like so then from 55 to 65 we're going to draw 3.2 the frequency density of 3.2 so it's marked 3.2 here now 65 is also here so let's draw our bar going across 3.2, come down, 65, and we just shade in our diagram there. Then 65 to 80, we've got two. So 65 to 80, I've got two here. So I'm just marking it out on my diagram. And we're just going to draw our bar in like so. And then 
the last one is 80 to 100, which is 1.2. So that's one and that's 1.2. So we got up to 100. Coming down. And we can just shade in that diagonal on that. And that is our histogram. Please remember to always label your frequency density. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. So for this question here, very similar to the last question, we write down the class width, which is five take away zero, which is five. Let me get 10, 15, 10, and then five. So now don't forget the frequency density. Don't forget the formula for the frequency density. I'm gonna write it here. The frequency density is always the frequency divided by the class width. So the frequency divided by the class width So we can do four divided by five for the first one. 0 0.8, one, then 24 divided by 15, 1.6, two, and then six divided by five is the last one. 1.2. So now we've got our frequency density there. Don't forget to label frequency density. So I'm going to write it here, frequency density. A lot of students always forget to label that. You need to always label that on your y-axis. So we've got the biggest value being two and it starts from zero. So I would say we can just do one and say two to make life easier and say three. So now we can draw in our histogram. So from zero to five, I'm going to draw a frequency density of 0 0.8. So from zero to five, so we've got that, 0 0.8, show you in our histogram. Then from five to 15, we need to draw in one. So that's the next bar going across. Then from 15 to 30, we need to mark 1.6. So 1.6 is here. All the way across. is that and then 30 to 40 we've got two draw a line here And there we have it, that's our histogram.